all right guys welcome back to another katan video don't know how long this is going to be but we are playing against phantom katan as you know very big youtuber he's the one that inspired me to get into this and yeah whenever all right so katan's phantom's gonna play first uh this is gonna be an interesting Ding saddle for him. I believe he's gonna take the 8510 paired up with the well that. So I am thinking let's go ahead and run something like this. Take the wood and the ore, but he does end up getting the plow on us. Hmm 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 hmm. Let's do something like this and take the free road and come up here and point our road over here to build. And we should be able to get on the 4911 or the 639. We do have the starting road in hand, so we can go for the plow. We are going to be running low on sheep, but we can always steal that if needed. And luckily, there is no other starting spot. And where else do I want to build? Well, so the good spots for him are going to be the 8-5. So he takes that. Has a lot of ore we cheap. Yeah, we are. We might be in some trouble. No doubt about it. Put my road over here so we don't end up getting plowed. And we need to build on that 11. A lot of sixes coming in. So he gets the first city. And doesn't have enough for a knight. I think the block has to be the six. Builds the road. We could end up being cut. Looking for a 10 or a 3. Chances of that happening are not too high. So he gets the first seven. Theoretically, gonna go block that six, get that from him. Now a three gives it to us. So the question becomes, I could come around, cut this spot. Is that better? I believe it is better. One, two. Let's go ahead and take this. Yep, I think that decision's correct. So I have a lot of ore in my hand. He gets the first seven. Don't take the ore. Took my brick, which is fine. Gets a nine. Looking for a nine at this point for our city on the 1083. Gets a five. We just need a three at this point. We get that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's go for the plow am i making the right decision i think i am just so that we can stop his wheat spot as well and just cut him off the board take the wood extra five and now when we get on the wood port it becomes massively unlocked for us he wasted his road buys a dev card he's playing super efficient luckily 10 hasn't rolled just yet but sixes are rolling and the name of the game is going to be dev cards Yep, another city up. And... Yeah, he's just gonna keep popping. Probably waiting for a road builder to come around this way. We are gonna have road in hand. That's for sure. So, there's no point in blocking any of that. He moves it off of us. Doesn't move it off of us. Gear of Plenty for... Two dev cards. Good block on the five, finally moves it off of us. Blocks our three, gets a seven anyway. Blocks that eight. Ten finally rolls. Eight block is good. Have to discard cards. I'm thinking we do that. Continue blocking that five. He's gonna move it off of us. Doesn't move it off of us. We do get a city now. So let's go ahead and take that city. No need to take road. 
Five is good. Six is our killing. So you can port all that brick out for a sheep. He's gonna go ahead and build. Use the road builder. Settles over there, leaves an empty road. Interesting. Nine rolls, 10 rolls. Could mono the wheat, doesn't mono the wheat. Buys the dev card instead. And we're gonna one, two, three, four. Take the sheep. Do a little bank trade and come around this way again just to cut them off. Stop his settled spots, expansion spots. Good block on the five. Get a three, that's an incoming mono, perhaps. No. And I end up having to discard cards again. It's a lot of cards to discard. Let's just get rid of our road. Now that we have blocked that. Let's block that. Four, looking for ten. Nine rolls. So that's going to be one dev card for us. And luckily for us, everything is slowing down. We are getting... We're just making him mad at this point. I'm so sorry, Phantom, if you're watching this. I am somewhat playing like a troll. Uh, okay, so I think it's safe to get a dev card. And our road network is going to be pretty screwed up, to be honest. One, two, three, four. Let's end our turn. One, two, three, four, five. Ten rolls. No mono. Interesting. I think we do city up over here and then get uh probably come around this way and get another knight get a four he doesn't need the wheat but he does get the city which is good i'm going to one two three four port uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Port it out for a brick. Keep my cards, my wheat and sheep, only because if an eight rolls, then that's going to be big. Not rolling, sheep's rolling. Hopefully he has a VP. He's going to buy a dev card. At this point, 11 rolls. We're also going to now buy dev cards. And now it's just one, two, three. We get a mono and a VP, which is good. He's going to move it off of us. Takes that, gets that. Block has to still be the five. He buys a dev card. We're going to move it off of him. Block that five. Steal the ore. Good block over there. Do I take road just yet? No, not really. Let's get another knight over here and let's continue building up this way for longest road. He takes army, gets a wood, ooh, massive block. Massive block indeed. So we're gonna move that off of us and block that five. We get the ore from him. All that ore doesn't do much for us. Now nine. I will mono the wheat. He has four wheat. Should he decide to settle? I don't think he has a mono because I feel like there were many times he could have monoed something and it would have worked out well for him. But he's not monoing. He's coming around this way. He doesn't want to settle. I think we have to. I think that's a lot of wheat to mono. Eight wheat, which is good. Let's go ahead and buy a card. Buy a city on this 9, 10, 11. And let's just port it out for a wheat at this point. And all I need now is 
Another city and army for the win. So five block is good. He can't take road, that's for sure. So let's come around this way. One, two, three, four. Come over there. Take the settle. Uh, let's... Yeah, move the knight. Block that six. Get that. Roll to seven. No player to steal from. I'm not sure why. And we take army. So that's going to be it for this game. You guys, hopefully you all had fun. Alright guys, welcome back to another game. Looking at the board. I really like the... 6 10 9 spot point towards the right or point towards the left what does he take let's point towards the right because i have a feeling phantom's going to take 5 8 10 and because we're going to share that wheat spot it's going to be okay if it's blocked and i think then next we are going to take probably some sort of 5 10 9 and we just need sheep and wood at this point. He does need a lot of ore. So I really do think 5, 8, 10 point towards the left. And then taking 8, 4, 11 can give him that strong ore wheat sheep game. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. He's cutting us out of wood and sheep, which is interesting. <laughs> Let's look at the port situation for a sec. Wheat port's right there. I could wheat port everything. I think let's run it. I say let's run it. I think we can wheat port our way. Yep, so looking for 11s and 9s. Well, he gets a 5 anyway, so that's a road. And we'll just build our way to the sheep when needed. And luckily, he's on the 10s. We're on the 10s. Our wheat's not going to get blocked. We have the wheat port. I think this is a solid game, you guys. I'm feeling confident about this one. The 11 wood might be a slow start, but we are, again, cutting off his settled spots quite a bit. Gets another 5. He needs a 10 or... He needs an 8 at this point, actually. So 10s have rolled. Is he looking to settle? Not yet. He is going to settle. And get that eight. Whoops. I have a road in hand. I'm going to go ahead and just plop my road over there. He gets the first seven. And let's go ahead and what do we want to block? Let's block that five. Perfect. Playing a risky game over here. We get a nine. I'm gonna one, two, three, four for that. Keep the wood. Now I need a six, eight, and a ten. Two more cards. Okay. Just need an eight. Just need an eight. Yeah. No, I'm gonna take a risk. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that was a waste. Um. <laughs> No, let's play this. Really need an 8 or 10. Okay, so he gets the second 7, which is good. Get the 5. We get the 10 now. And he's probably thinking about where does he want to go, if he has a road builder or not, or even a city at this point. He does have the sheep port that he can utilize, but we're blocking that. And it's going to come around this way, come towards the bottom. Perfect. So let's take the settle. Let's take the city at this point. Six rolls immediately. Uses a knight, blocks our eight, takes an ore. That aggressive knight, I think. Let's block that. Five. Let's block 
this five, I think. I think that's the block. Let's get a knight of our own. He uses a knight, takes my ore. It's going to be a little bit tough to block him. Uh, we could come all the way around to the sheep port. That's something. City's up. I think it's very critical we come over here to the five. Get that sheep. Good block on the five. Eleven. Six is rolling. Six is rolling again. Need an eight. So he has a dev card. We need a dev card. Get a year of plenty for two wood. Another six. So year of plenty for two wood. An eight would be nice. Or an eleven. Okay. I believe he has a settle. And he should take the settle. Doesn't take the settle. <sighs> okay, let's think about this. One, two, for the sheep. Bank trade. Uh, one, two for the wood. Bank trade. And one, two for the wood. Let's do that trade. Let's come up here. And now we also have the longest road in our hand, if needed. And he takes army. Rolls another seven. Where do you block us now at this point? The nine? The ten, maybe? Blocks the 9. Good block on the 9. 6s are rolling. So we have the longest road. Don't have army, but he 7s out. And... Let's go ahead and hit the 5. I think... He blocks all his wheat. Yeah, that 5 should slow him down. 8 rolls, that's a city. So let's take the city over here. Gets a 7, blocks the 8. Single 10 is all we need. 10. 11 rolls, that's good. 12 rolls, that's good. 5 rolls, that's not good. Uh, if that 4, 11, 3 spot also gets taken from us, that's not a big deal. Because we can get on the... Other four, three, eleven, right there on the bottom. So he should also try going for the sheep port, but he's not ten. No ten quite yet. Let's just be safe about this and do that. I don't need the spot, but just to be safe. He ports for a wheat. Insane. But good. Uh, let's just block that six. And did we have the settle? Well, we did earlier. Not anymore. Let's go ahead and buy a knight. Nope. We get a three. That's good. Six block is good. Seven is bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's block that five. Take the ore. Ten rolls. So that's a settle right there. He buys a dev card. So he knows we have a VP. He buys two dev cards. Yeah, so that's all he needs dev cards for, I think. We don't have roads wasted, that's for sure. Let's... Take the settle. Let's buy a dev card. Get a knight. That's good. Uh, we're going to wait it out. Doesn't move it off of us. Interesting. Eight rolls. Let's now take the settle over here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So is it more important to... Yeah, let's come around here. Because we can always steal it back. 11 rolls, 6 rolls, so... Yeah, let's do this. And let's do that for 9. Roads. So he doesn't have a knight, but we are fighting 
for that. He gets an ore, uses the road builder. Is gonna come around for the sheep port. I feel like it's a bit too late for that. We are gonna block that five, get that four, and come around this way as well. A road builder would hurt us, so to be safe, let's do this. Good block on the five, massive block on the five. Nines are rolling, nines are rolling. Eights and tens are not rolling. Just gonna let him know. Buys a dev card. We're gonna buy a dev card. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Get a dev card over here. Get another knight. No, just our first knight and maintain army sure why not does he move it off of us he's deciding moves it off blocks that we roll a 10 we are going to move it and block his five only because we need we need brick so or we need to stop his brick from building so he's going to go up towards that area and a seven would hurt over here, so here's hoping no sevens roll just yet. And let's move that knight off of us. P buys a dev card or another massive 10. So one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get two sheep. One, two. VPs are not good at all. VPs are not good at all. Cause uh Well, he rolls a seven, good for him. So we're at 12. We have road for sure. 11 or at three, we can just keep securing it, making it longer. We just keep hammering in that five. That is a massive L right there. Let's block that six only because I don't need it. I do have two ore already. Nine rolls for the brick. Could mono the brick. Buys another dev card what's our win condition we need three points so two cities can give us 14 and a settle spot so two cities and a settle is what we need whoop let's go ahead and just port this out get a knight of our own blocks the six do i play the aggressive knight let's wait for him to buy another card and then we'll play shoot Shoot, shoot, shoot. Probably should have blocked that five. It was a mistake. Let's go ahead and block that five. Get that brick. Even though it just rolled. Two roads can give us a good loop. He is one and two. So road secured. And again, he's not playing a knight. We need six, we need an eight or a 10. He might have a good mono. Blocks my eight. I'm gonna go ahead and block. What do I block? The sheep just rolled. The brick also rolled, but he's not building. Uh, I'm at 14. He's also only at 14. Let's move it off. Block that 5. Get the wood. Massive block. I'm not on any more ports. And I think that is GG unless he can mono. If he monos, monos that. Decides to settle. <laughs> But we still have an open settled spot.
there we go so let's go ahead and take the settle for the win and yeah that's gonna be it for this game guys long game uh eight did not did did not provide uh dice stats looking pretty whack but yeah a lot of sevens um we did outproduce him and yeah that's gonna be for this game i'll uh see you guys next time